Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were still in Mount Mortar, finding all sorts of goodies, and we're also hoping to find a nice Pokémon along the way. But before we get to that, we got ourselves a Dragonite to deal with. Uh, the last one was kind of a pain. Out of curiosity... Uh, how well would Fly work in this situation? Had been using Dragon Breath because that is what Dragonite is weak against. But Fly might actually cause more damage. And uh, not enough more, actually. Regardless, taking three hits to take down. So I might as well stick with the Dragon Breath. Especially if Fly is almost out of uses anyway. You know, I just noticed that Dragon Knight's sprite in this game is really determined. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take you down. You can bet I'm gonna take you down. No, you're not. Level up for me. Down this ladder. Where are we? Oh, I already know where we are. Oh, there, there's a there's still a lot more cave to go. It just occurred to me. Dratini, much easier. Might have to consider actually running from a few Pokemon here and there on this level, because they're going to be lower level, and don't give much experience, especially considering we are in a position where we are starting to run out of moves, at least for Gyarados. Yeah, we're going to run from these. Should possibly consider bringing along a repel. Oh well. They're easy to run from. Max Elixir. Well, that would certainly allow us to have more attacks on hand. Oh boy, this encounter rate. Is it just me or did it go up? I think we, we can at least take the time to take out uh, this one. Doesn't give a lot of experience, but it still gives out an okay-ish amount. And I got plenty of confusions on hand. this one gonna be? This one is Max Ether. Well, again, now we don't actually have to worry about running out of moves, that is for certain. It is interesting how you always have to send out your Pokémon whenever you flee. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if the option was just, while Pokemon appear, flee, and then you don't have to waste time sending it out, hearing the cry, and that sort of thing. Plus, imagine how it would be for the Pokemon. I'm just casually sitting inside my Pokeball, and then all of a sudden, it's my turn to go out. Okay, there's a Pokemon there. Let me go ahead and go after it. Nope, we're running away. Uh, uh um... Okay. Uh, I guess. Hmm. 
Oh, I was about to say, that is still kind of tiny amount of experience. Nope, it was actually getting increased from the experience share. Item here, what's this? Full restore. Nice. It's gonna be interesting finding out what items we find. Oh, come on, really? I was using Roboboy as an extension of myself to turn in thought, and there was a Pokemon right there. And now I lost my train of thought. Oh right, it'll be interesting finding out what items we find in the post-game, considering we're finding so many of the good ones in the first half of the adventure. As a reminder, all the Pokemon have been shuffled around, or rather, items. All the items in the game have been shuffled around. So that full restore we found here would originally be found somewhere else instead of here. Hi guy, what's up with you? Hey. I am the Karate King. I train alone here in the dark. Uh, to each their own, I guess. You, battle with me. Who are? Okay, Swimmer Keo. I love it when the setups set themselves up. Dangerous Pokemon, though. Potentially dangerous. But not really. Kind of concerning with the status afflictions it can afflict, but didn't really get the chance. Mmm, Magneton. Uh, well, definitely not gonna be Gyarados. Even with Rock Smash. Rikus, no. Matty would be interesting, but I don't think that's gonna work out too well. Giraffarig? Uh, what are our options with attacks? Let me think about this. Sludge Bomb is absolutely gonna have absolutely no effect, so I'm probably not the best choice. My dad? Not great selection-wise. Maddie suggests Strike Back. Sunny Day into into Fire Punch. Well, unfortunately, Strike Back is in the PC. Oh well, maybe Maddie can do something. Just for funsies, since you haven't had a chance to use it yet. I doubt this is going to cause very much damage. Actually, that was pretty good damage. Do that again. How does Sunny Day work, by the way? While well, we're on the subject. Because... Does it, like, actually c control the weather? And how does it help whenever you're inside a cave? War! I'm beaten! Uh, I'm crushed. My training is still not enough. But a loss is a loss. I admit it. As proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting Pokémon. You say Tyrogue, but is it really? No, it's a Nidoking. Interesting. Tyrogue is a fighting type. It evolves into a tougher Pokémon. Keep up the hard work. I'll keep training too. Farewell. Level 10 Nidoking. Tackle, Horn Attack, Double Kick, Poison Sting. And a, 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 an okay selection of attacks considering it's at level 10. Now, here is the catch. 
We had to make room in order for that Nidal King. And this guy is pretty deep in this cave. Can you imagine how infuriating it would be to travel through all this cave, reach this guy, and find out... Oh, by the way, you can't carry this Pokemon I'm about to give you because your team is full. Because that is what happens if your team is full. It happened to me when I was playing Pokemon Crystal, and I was pissed. Why is it that only Generation 1 got it right? Generation 1, out of all the Pokemon generations, does it right. If your team is full, they give you the Pokemon anyway, and just send it directly to your PC. You know, like what happens any other time you get a Pokemon and your PC is full. Hey there, Beer Force! Thank you for the resub! 21 months, wow. You are super duper appreciated. Lapras. Simple enough to take care of for Gyarados the Farfetch'd. Except when that happens. It's a good thing we did not deposit these full heals. It's a good thing we didn't deposit these bitter berries. Yeah, d stop that. Gyarados is trying to learn Slash. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can learn that. Not as overpowered after Generation 1, though. Slash is, like, really good in Generation 1 because it gets a critical hit, like, 90% of the time. Uh, I'm gonna say no to these, though. I'm gonna say no to Slash in this case, though. Rather. Okay. Uh, we got one of these elixirs. Ether even. Kind of almost a waste, but you know, I still want Gyarados to be taking the lead here, and flying is gonna be really necessary, especially now that we're swimming in some water. So, get those flybacks, please. Uh, flies back, rather. Speaking of swimming in water, we are now out of the water, so that we can grab whatever this is. Um, I mean, not the Pokemon, the Pokeball. The Pokemon will just run from because it's a low level. And Elixir. Cool. Well, these Pokemon are just coming out in force. Here. You can probably take it down when it's at level 16 pretty easily. Definitely pretty easily. Now to start making our way out of here. Uh, couldn't a random encounter have happened on water? Espeon ain't worth fighting. Okay, the guy that I was looking at didn't say anything about this, but I'm really curious. Is there any item inside this dead end here? Because it really seems like this is an item type of dead end. 
And there's also another item type of dead end above this ladder there. Considering the random encounters, it almost would have been worth bringing along the- Oh wait! The item finder is a key item, so it's not stored on the PC. Nope, nothing there. So I don't have to wander into a random encounter there. So let's just start making our way out. There's going to be one more item along the way, but that'll be it. And then we can move on! A potion. Well, there's one of those weaker items I was talking about earlier. Not in the post game, but found one anyway. And up here is going to be the exit. Uh, Spiteful Crow is asking, does anyone else have a dream Pokemon? Uh, like, what do you mean by dream Pokemon? By the way, the trees down here are apricorns for Kurt's Pokeballs, which is why I'm ignoring them. I kind of figured there would be one more random encounter before we made it back to a town. A Pokemon that you want to be real? Jirachi. The wish-granting Pokemon. Alternatively, Manaphy would be fun. A little bit of heart swap, body swapping action. Oh, you mean an, uh, uh, like an idea for a Pokemon in the game? Oh! There needs to be a Spotted Skunk Pokemon. Something to make up for Stunky and Skunk Tank being an over-exaggeration of skunk Pokemon and actual skunks. Like, seriously, did it really have to be a butt face that makes a fart noise? A spotted skunk Pokemon made cute would definitely make fun of that, or make, make up for that. Okay, get rid of the Nidoking, King, and while I'm thinking about it, we also need to bring out this Magikarp. Pass it up. There it is. Bring out Big Girl. Hopefully Big Girl is a big girl. And we're gonna make our way to the Lake of Rage real quick, to meet up with that guy who is interested in seeing a really big Magikarp. As it so happens, you can actually fly to the Lake of Rage. Kind of thing of it, we never actually saw this place whenever it was daylight, did we? Yes, this place on Super Game Boy is red colored, which means the Red Gyarados actually is red whenever you encounter it here during the day. Ah, you have a Magic Harp! Let's see how big that baby is. Hopefully big enough. Let me measure that magic heart. Hmm, it measures three foot three inches. Wow, this one is astounding! I wish I could say that. Oh, come on. Did you have to tease me there? But I've seen a bigger one before. Well, too bad. We're not going to waste time finding you a bigger one than that. So let's go ahead and actually head back to Blackthorn City. Uh, let me let me look this up. I'm really curious. Pokemon Lake of Rage. What does you get for doing that? 
Magic Cart. Okay. If you get a magic carp that is three foot six inches or bigger, he will give you an elixir. So that is actually a nice reward if you are willing to catch a whole bunch of magic carp. However, we are live and I don't have time for that. Instead, I have time to bring us into our third and final episode break of today. And when we come back from this break, I will not be on this screen, hopefully. 